Hi guys, it's True here. Welcome to another episode of Sega Saturday. This is Renegade on the Sega Master System. It's based on the 1986 arcade game of the same name. Not sure why I ain't got any sound. No, there's just no sound on that bit. But anyway, uh, right, yeah. So as you can see, it's pretty late to the party. It came out in 1993, uh, according to that screen there. So yeah, very very late to the party. Don't know why there's no sound at all on the screen. That's very very weird. Um, anyhow, let's um, get cracking. Uh, Renegade um, obviously uh, beat them up. It was set on three. Each level was set on three screens three flick screens and you had to beat a certain amount of enemies in a time limit and then take on the boss in the level. There's four levels in total I think and then the game repeated itself. So yeah, we'll go for a one play game. Mission one. Right, we're off. Uh, you've only got two buttons on the mass system so let's see. Uh, oh, kick backwards. Um, oh no, it, it's... Um, it's one of these stupid ones where button one attacks left and button two attacks right. Um, why have I, why have I done that? Ah, oh, dear me. Yeah, this this is similar. This is same as the um, arcade version. though, it starts with a subway, and you can you actually knock them off the platform. Um, get my ass kicked at the moment, though. No. Get my ass kicked very badly. Yeah, there's normally two enemy sprites on this level, but uh, we'll see we've only got the one. Don't know why the uh, humble spectrum could manage. Oh, I'm dead. Could manage the two sprites and the boss. Oh, that's different. A cutscene chucking you into a skip. Lovely. Right, I know them. I know the controls now. So um, don't like the controls, but I know them. horrendous controls. Why do this? You know, why can't I just punch or kick in the direction I'm facing? Stupid game. The music's faithful to the um, arcade machine, I'll give it that. Graphically, it's... it's uh, I actually prefer the graphics to the arcade. Never liked the graphics on the arcade version. Uh, with that one guy? Is he going off some way? No. No, we should get the boss now. No boss? Ah. Okay. Um. Right. Oh, this is different. Um. Why? Why did? I, why did I do this? I've been knowing this is playing a lot of um, in the format wars that I've been doing. Uh, a bit of sprite flicker there. Um. Double Dragon, especially on the NES and Shinobi, uh, not Shinobi. Um, what, what other game did it do now? I can't remember. Oh, Space Harrier. They changed the levels. They changed the design of the game. I mean, Double Dragon was they had some side-scrolling, single-plane bits. It was just no. That's not Double Dragon, and this isn't Renegade anymore. You do not get in the train. Um. Can you fly and kick? Ah, you can fly and kick both buttons at once. Severely missing a block button on these early beat em ups. That guy's, I think, stuck in an endless loop bouncing up and down. <laughs> oh, fuck off, man. I guess I'll go out again. Oh here's, oh, here's the boss on the world's smallest train platform. Um, and you get all your energy back when you transition a scene, that's, that's good to know. Let's get, get him around the other side. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. Yeah, you know where you are going, mate? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. What? I can't even stand up. Fucking lame. Just 
Stupid, it's stupid, what am I supposed to do? Get lost punk. Better start there again. Yeah. Oh what the f I've just discovered a new move and it killed me. <laughs> oh dear. That was um yeah. Well, let's try again. <laughs> What did he even do? Oh! Double tap forward and... Double tap forward and point. Oh, fuck off. Oh, it's a run. Right, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, these controls are hideous, man. So counterintuitive, it's just... Uh, game designers and their weird decisions. Spoil it, which could have been a pretty decent game in my opinion. No, this seems to be working. I'm just going to stand here and just keep punching. <laughs> yeah, I seem to have found a flaw in the game's programming. Yeah, level complete. Let's try that again. Let's see if that works. It does as well. Oh dear. No, it don't work against the weapon, guys. But um, see, they're missing all the move set in Renegade. You had a, um, you had punches, you had back kicks. You could grab enemies and knee them. And we've lost all this for a stupid directional bloody combat system. It's just why? Why do it? You got perfect on arcade conversion there. I don't know if you did that. It controls are back in the arcade, but um, if there were, they're stupid as well. But you got a perfectly good template of an arcade game to copy, which is what fans of the game are expecting, and will probably buy it on that basis. And yet, you piss around with the format. So therefore, it ain't the game people are expecting anymore, is it? I got a quick conclusion. You've got zero chance of killing that guy on a one-on-one fist fight. So he's going off the bloody, bloody um, platform. Now, the second level was the docks. He started off by having to fly and kick some motorcycle enemies. Like, ah, oh, we, we don't do that. Um, well, it is the dockyard, but again, they've changed it. Oh, fucking hell! Oh, see what I mean? Like I'm, I'm oh, stupid controls. Honestly, any game. I mean, I don't think Double Dragon Two's got those controls as well. It's just, it's just a shite control system. A stupid idea. Plus, as well, in this game. The character automatically changes direction by his own. Well, I didn't change direction there, so I'm jamming one button to punch one direction, and then all of a sudden I start doing fucking something else. Stupid, absolutely stupid. Oh, he nearly went off the cliff then. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! Did he get stupid kick? He's stuck as well. The enemy pathing's crap. It's a shame this really, because this is this I'm actually this could be better than the act. Oh Have it Another one? Oh bollocks. Yeah, these are supposed to come first before the enemies um, get involved. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, I'm getting on the bike. Okay, it's different. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Oh, seriously, I only can kick up. Oh no, I can't. Uh, oh, you can fall off the fucking bottom. 
How am I supposed to know that? Well, points have been different, but it ain't Renegade anymore, is it, when you start adding all this shite to it? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, because what they've actually added is pretty decent, but... Why didn't that guy die in? Because I'm pressing the wrong chuffing button, that's why. The, the guy's not dying. The guy is not dying. Finally, what's the S? Why, why is he an S? I don't know why he's an S. Very weird. Are you, are you gonna bump into him and attack? Right, I was just kicking. Oh, there you go, just wicked wheelie. Now oh, this is the boss, and there's no cliff to knock him off. So this is going to be ass kicking time. Shame it's not going to be me doing the ass kick. Oh, he's got me in an endless loop here by the looks of it. I know I'm out of it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I can't even do anything. God almighty. Seriously let down by game design in certain aspects of this, but uh, can I... This seems to work. As soon as I say that, it stops working. It's so what you got to usually do with these games, you got to out cheese the cheese. Oh, get off me! That hurts so much. Oh, yeah, here we go again. Endless loop, endless loop, endless loop. I honestly can't do anything here. I'm pressing all my attack buttons, and unless he decides to let me go, I'm pretty much powerless there. And I was doing okay until that happened, and then it decided to screw me. Nah. No. Anyway, guys, I'll leave that there. I think that's game over anyway. Old Joel kicked my ass, but yeah. Um, bit disappointed in that, really. I was expecting something a bit better. It's good in some regards, but poor in others. Especially the control scheme and the bosses. They just um, spoil it, really. But yeah, Renegade on the Sega Master System. Thanks for watching.